Hello everybody, grade 9s and grade 12s. Just want to send a kind of a final or closing video um, as we are wrapping up to the end of the school year. Uh, first, I just want to say uh, thank you for a wonderful semester or somewhat of a good semester given the circumstances. Uh, the first, you know, before March break, it was good. You guys were excellent classes. I enjoyed, you know, teach you guys every day. And then obviously COVID hit and kind of disaster has happened uh, since. So um, I guess a thank you for a good semester. Um, I want to congratulate um, the grade 12s right now on a um, for their graduation, the four years of school. Uh, I'm not sure if some of you guys will be coming back for a fifth year, but congratulations on making it. Uh, I don't know what next year is going to look like for you guys or university, college or work. Um, but I do congratulate you and I do wish you the best of luck. Um, um, I also want to thank for you, the students that um, kept working at it at the courses for both grade 9 and 12. You, you guys, you know, some of you guys really worked hard and you continue to work. I know the government made a, the announcement that your marks can't drop and that kind of meant for a lot of you guys not to do any more work. Uh, which is a little bit sad, uh, but I, I congratulate or uh, my hat's off to those who really work through uh, the rest of the work, trying to learn um, because, you know, you didn't have to. And, you know, I, I like to tell people when no one's looking, what are you doing? What are you doing when no one's looking and no one's keeping track of you? So for those who did the work, uh, you know, my hat's off to you and you continue to work. That is great. For those who are decided to just check out, I'm a little bit disappointed, especially for the grade nines. Um, in the long run, you're just going to be hurting yourself. Uh, you just put yourself way behind everybody else and you're going to really struggle next year. I'm trying to warn you guys, but some of you guys decided to, I guess, take an early summer. So um, I, I do hope for those who didn't do the work that you somehow get caught up or you're going to have to work your butt off next year. Um, but for those who kept tracked and, and kept doing the work, um, that's awesome. And it's no, um, no fluke that a lot of the people that were doing the work and keeping track were ones who were in the 90s. And um, that's what it takes sometimes. So enough about that. Um, yeah, I just disappointed in quite a few uh, for not doing their work. Um, uh, so just a side news, I don't not too sure. Um, some of you guys probably know, I don't know if everybody is, but uh, this is my last year at Xavier. I will be leaving uh, at the end of June and I'm transferring up to a school called Robert F. Hall which is uh, about 12 minutes from where I live because I live up in Bolton. So it's about 12 minutes uh, away. It's a, sc a school in Caledon. Um, I've enjoyed my last four years at Xavier immensely and I'm glad I get to see uh, the grade 12s kind of pass through because a bunch of you guys I had in grade nine, I get to watch you guys graduate and move on. So I will deeply miss Xavier. Um, it wasn't an easy decision, but something I had to make as I'll be also moving school, like I'll be moving my house even further north um, in the fall. So this only kind of makes sense. So uh, I will be at school on Monday uh, between 12.30 and probably 1.30. So uh, if any of you guys are around, if you're returning your textbooks, I'll be in the student parking lot. And actually I have to hand out a certain some things to the basketball guys. So if any of you guys are around at that time, I would love to see you and say farewell. Um, if not, I hope all of you guys a wonderful, wonderful summer. Um, what else I want to say? Oh, textbooks. Please, 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 please bring back your textbooks. Um, it's very important. It's for people for next year to have their textbooks, especially the grade 12s and the grade 9s. And in desperate need. If, if everyone uh, kept their textbooks at home, it would cost... I think the school a uh, half a million to a million dollars worth of textbooks. So that's this, that's awful. Actually at a hundred dollars a piece, 2000 students, like $2 million just for a course. So, um, please bring your textbooks back. They are else people will not have textbooks next year. I believe that's all I want to say. Actually, no grade nines. We are finished with the videos and the content. Uh, I'm just, 
doing the marks down so you guys are off the grade 12s i will be posting two videos next week and um you do not have to do it but i just if you're going to be taking statistics in university which it is a very common course to be uh doing then you these next two lessons will be very important um they are, they are difficult but they're important for you to understand or at least see them before you go to university and take them um if you're not taking stats um then i guess you are free to enjoy your summer and um i think that's all for now i just again wish you guys uh a great summer and uh, hopefully things are back to normal soon all right Nice seeing you guys.